welcome back. I am so glad you're here. I am Coach Julia, and today we are going to be talking about keeping the inside of your skates clean, dry, smell free, and free of any of that nasty bacteria growth that happens so often in athletic footwear. If you have damp skates and all that sweat sitting in there, you can get bacteria growth and all kinds of funky things can happen. When we skate, even in cold temperatures, our feet will sweat. In fact, our feet have a more concentrated amount of sweat glands than any other part of our body. I know it's gross, but our feet can actually sweat up to half a pint a day, half a pint. Now for visual, that's half a pint. That is half of a pint, okay? It's a full cup. That's how much our feet can sweat. Gross. Now, if this doesn't convince you that you need to take care of the inside of your skates, let's talk about that sweat smell. So sweat itself isn't smelly by nature, but when it sits on your skin and bacteria starts to grow, then it gets that funky odor. And if you've ever been in a locker room after a hockey game, you know exactly what odor I am talking about. That smell is a good indicator that there is bacteria growing inside of your skates. And that bacteria is gonna cause the interior of your skates to break down more quickly, which means you're gonna have to replace your skates more often. And it can cause all kinds of weird fungal issues with your feet, I mean, we don't even really want to talk about those, but athletes foot anybody, you don't want to get that. So let's take care of the inside of our skates just as carefully as we take care of our blades and the leather on the exterior. First off, you want to wear a good proper skate sock when you're skating. Now for some of you, this might be a no brainer. Of course you wear socks when you skate, but I know people who skate barefoot and I'm just telling you, when you skate barefoot, your sweat has no place to go other than into the leather or microfiber or cloth of the interior of your skate. So this is the number one thing you can do to maintain the life of your skates and keep that bacteria from growing. I use these skate socks. I've mentioned them before in videos. They, you can get them from Chloe and Noel or from Mondor, and I will put a link to these Mondor uh, skate socks below and you need to treat your skate socks just like you would any other kind of athletic sock You don't want to wear the same pair over and over and over without washing it So I'm going to recommend that you get a handful of these and in between each time you skate bring your socks home Toss them in the wash and wear a new clean pair the next session You would do that if you were going to the gym You wouldn't re-wear a pair of gym tennis shoe socks over and over again. That would be disgusting, right? So you want to do the same thing with your skating socks Second, of course, when you get off the ice, you're gonna wanna dry the exterior of your blade and all of that, but it's also a good idea to use an antimicrobial spray on the inside, the lining of your skate, while they're still damp. A good antimicrobial spray is gonna kill off any bacteria right off, right when you get off the ice. I like this Vapor Fresh, it's a sports, uh, spray. It's actually designed for using on athletic equipment. In fact, there's a little ice skate right there on their logo, which is cool. You're just going to open up your skate, spray the inside, give it a couple squirts, open it up as much as you can so you can get down towards the toe of your skate, and then just leave your skate open to dry. The great thing about this spray is it's designed, like I said, for sporting equipment to get rid of that bacteria, but it's also non-toxic. So you're not gonna have to worry about smelling fumes every time you get off the ice. And I will be posting a link down below to where you can get this spray as well. There are a few things that you can actually put inside your skates while they're between sessions to help absorb moisture. One of those things is silica gel packs. Now you've seen these on all kinds of places, um, dried like rice boxes or uh, little containers of vitamins. They're little packets of silica gel. Well, these are great big packets of silica gel. Silica gel is absorbs a ton of moisture. They use this in uh, dried flower arrangements and things like that to absorb all the moisture. So we can do that with our skates. We just take that silica gel, put it all the way down there in the toe of the boot, and it's gonna immediately start absorbing any moisture that isn't gonna evaporate overnight. So silica gel packets are a great idea. Another idea is to make yourself little bags of baking soda. Well, baking soda, we all know we put in our refrigerator, it absorbs all those funky smells. Well, we can make little bags like that for our skates. So I have just taken a rectangle of cotton, folded it in half, sewn the edges, filled it up with some baking soda and sewed the top shut, 
and it is good to go. I'm just gonna plop that down in my skates. It's gonna absorb moisture, it's gonna absorb funky smells. These are a great little craft project and something you can keep in your skating bag and just toss in your skates between your sessions. Now finally, we have one more idea that is a lot less DIY, but really, really powerful. Say you haven't had good skate care in the past and you really need to kill off some bacteria and save the inside of your skates. You wanna find a ice rink or sporting equipment center that has a Sani Sport machine. Now a Sani Sport machine works 3,200 times faster and 150 times stronger than chlorine bleach. It is proven to kill 98% of all bacteria and 100% of all viruses, which is pretty cool. So this machine is like a great big cabinet that you put all of your equipment in. It's good for figure skates, hockey skates, hockey pads. It's You can put all of your sporting equipment in there. I've seen people put teddy bears and things after they've been through a hospital. So you could put a lot of different things in there and it'll kill off all that bacteria and the viruses and all that kind of stuff. After your equipment is placed in the machine, high intensity UV lights convert oxygen into ozone. The ozone is then circulated through the equipment via fans for 12 minutes, killing bacteria, funguses, and viruses. A patented solution containing natural tea tree oil is then fogged deep into the equipment to kill any remaining bacteria. The final step is to seal the process with a scented bactericide, creating a protective shield on the equipment to help prevent future buildup. There are 28 NHL teams, 17 NFL teams, six Major League Baseball teams, various fire department, law enforcement agencies, and military that use a Sani Sport machine daily. There are also many rinks around the world that have these machines available for use by their patrons. So if this is something you're interested in, do a search, try and find a ring in your area so that you can bring your equipment in and have it all sanitized. All right, skaters, that's it for today. I hope you have found these tips helpful. If you have more tips that you have found that help you keep your skates dry, clean, sanitary, and free of harmful bacteria. I would love to read all about it in the comment section down below. Let me know what you are doing to help maintain your skates. If you haven't done so yet, then hit that subscribe button down in the corner so you can see all my videos when they come out. Happy skating, and I'll see you next time.